cleaned up. Boom. What's up, B-Fam? Your boy Juan Valdez back with another video. And today I wanted to share with you guys exactly how my business partner and I took a store from zero to $100 a day, literally in 48 hours. So we're at about almost $80 and it's only 5 p.m. here in California. So I'm probably gonna pass that by the end of the night. But you can see yesterday, $144 with 11 orders. And if I show you guys this month, this store was pretty much non-existent. You can see right there. So you guys can see right there, this store pretty much had no sales at the beginning of the month. And it wasn't until the third um, day, obviously yesterday, where the sales started to come in. Because obviously that's when we started testing and we launched the product. And you can see now that we were able to you know, take that store and really you know get it over the hundred dollar mark which is huge because again we try to scale in increments so we try to first you know cross our first ten dollars then our hundred dollars and a thousand dollars and ten thousand and then a hundred thousand so that's kind of the formula that we try to you know follow and kind of have in place as as far as like goals that we want to reach with every single store that we work with but i wanted to share with you guys a strategy or the strategy that we used uh, by we i mean my business partner samir and i if you guys haven't checked out his channel make sure you check it out but the strategy we use to actually make that happen, right? And how it was possible. But I know I have actually, I've been gone from the channel for a couple days and there's a good reason for that. So uh, I, I told you guys in one of my previous videos, we're actually in the middle of moving. Uh, me and a few business partners are planning on moving and having like an entrepreneur house where, you know, we collaborate and, you know, we're gonna have a social media influencer living in the house, other entrepreneurs in e-commerce and obviously us. And we're planning on collaborating and really leveraging our skill sets right and obviously with that house it's an entrepreneur house that we're going to have we're going to be able to have our own live events at the house uh, workshops and a whole lot more where we can actually have students and people come by that want to of course meet the boys um, but also learn you know about e-commerce social media marketing branding you know tons of different areas that we know and have expertise in so we're going to be having events at our place once we have our place up and running and everything so stay tuned for that i'll make sure to announce it here on the channel and aside from that i'm also you know i've also been working on relaunching well me and my business partner samir have been working on relaunching the new p2p drop shipping accelerator and we're going to be making this accelerator with literally all the cutting edge things that we've learned you know in funnel hacking live all these different strategies we've learned with different offers and a lot of these things that we're trying out right now that are getting us these kind of results so i'll make sure to announce that as well once that's finalized but for now it all started with the products right so me and my business partner samir we thought about what kind of products should we go after and there's a couple things that again we do when we're going after different products right and specifically when i'm doing product research there's a couple things that i look out for right some again in one of my previous videos i spoke about how i look for products that solve problems so of course i start by looking for products that solve problems right so that's of course on the list um, next i start looking for products that could be used based on the time of the year right so i know that right now we're transitioning into the summertime summertime you know people love to buy things and specifically for summertime use right so i'm thinking what kind of products can be used for the summertime also that of course can also solve problems right so now i'm starting to kind of stack different things that will make you know a product do really well right i'm just thinking back to the last summer when we first started what kind of products did really well and that's where it all started from the idea so those are the two things that we started about started thinking about we started thinking about what kind of product should we go after and of course we started doing product research so as i did as i started doing product research of course i went through this, the whole process that i have in place if you guys want to see exactly how i do my product research i actually have a video uh that i posted a while back you guys should check it out but i went through that whole process of course with finding new hot and trending products and you know of course i went and checked the ad numbers on aliexpress and i did all that great stuff but you want to make sure you have a process in place when it comes down to the product research because if you don't then of course like you might not be doing the best product research and you need to be wasting your time but for sure that those are the first things that we did so we did the product research first and we thought about what kind of products we think we can do well and we kind of of course came up with the list right and out of the list we started just picking out which ones are we going to test from there what we did is uh, i also shared this strategy in one of my previous videos i share all the gold with you guys uh, i also started looking through uh, after I narrowed down the products that we had chosen, which was down to like two to three, I then started going through different influencer pages for these specific products. Influencers that, of course, are, you know, 
based around these kind of products and I started looking to see what kind of products have they recently posted on their pages, right? So I took the time to do that and that's huge because you can get a lot of insight. You guys know that obviously influencer marketing is huge right now and a lot of people are utilizing influencers. So it's a good idea to check to see what kind of products they're promoting because you can see what kind of products you know people have been testing at the time that have done really well because well there are certain things to find out if those products have done really well and usually if you've seen uh, one product that has been posted by multiple influencers usually that's a sign that that product people are making sales with because usually people see you know products that have been posted before and it kind of makes them decide of whether to whether as if they want to test it or not usually if a product has been tested before by more than one person it's a good sign because usually if a product doesn't do well the first time people kill it and they don't really um have the tendency to be tested by other you know by plenty other people so i like to actually go out to products that have a track record of being sold before of actually doing well so i like to start you know, getting some ideas and one of the ways you can do that again i don't only go by you know looking up influencer pages and looking like what recent products have been you know have uh, been posted and ran on these influencer pages i include that in my product research process so i use that but again i'm also checking aliexpress i'm checking the numbers i'm also checking i'm um, looking for different ads that have been ran and all that stuff and with a combination of all that together that helps me narrow down exactly what kind of products you know are, should be doing well at the time so that's how i kind of narrowed that down from there um, after we kind of narrowed down the product research and we had these products in place, we transitioned into setting up a store for these products, right? So setting up a store, uh, I was actually doing a live store review, which is actually something we do for all students inside of the P2P dropshipping accelerator. And it's something we're going to be doing a lot more often. I was doing a live store review and something that I, one mistake that I see a lot of students or not just students, but people doing with their stores is they don't utilize all the real estate on their stores correctly. Right. And what I mean by that is so one of the first things you have to keep in mind is when you're driving traffic to your stores up to date, everybody right now is shopping from their phones. There's no ifs and buts like that's just how it is right everybody's on their phones a the majority of the time so they're doing a lot of their shopping on their phones so of course you have to keep in mind you need to have your website optimized for mobile use and how do you do that well there's a couple of different ways you can do that a lot more than i can just go over in this one video you want to make sure that you're optimizing your store so when somebody lands on your store this is called i'm going to show you guys so when you land on a website i'm going to pull it up here when you land on a website let's see if we go to uh, Amazon.com. Let's go to Amazon. I like to use Amazon as an example all the time. Uh, you want to make sure your page is optimized before the fold, right? Well, usually this is more of a, a term that's used for funnels that I learned that you want to make sure, you know, you have calls to action and, you know, a lot of information before the fold. The fold is simply before someone has to scroll down because usually people will make decisions as to whether they want to buy or not from your store on the first, you know, first bit of the store that you they see right so by them seeing the top part the middle part and this part right here before they scroll it's super important the information that you have on there and the pictures or whatever it is that you're going to have and talking about pictures a mistake that i see a lot of people doing is that they don't utilize you know this real estate on their page this first half of the store before people scroll down to implement either a video or an image of their product and that's huge because if people come to the store you want to you want them to know right away what the product is you're selling and the benefits of the product like right away usually videos are best but sometimes you can't really find videos but i am going to show you guys a hack you can actually get videos made of the products and the benefits of your product like on uh, websites like fiverr and things like that you can have a generic video made but i'll probably have to make a video specifically on that but you want to definitely have either an image or a video on your store hands down at the top of the page right away so that way when a customer lands on it they know what the benefits and features of your product are right away and you also want to have a call to action somewhere where they can click and go directly to their product page because usually people won't scroll all the way down if somebody can go on your website anything can happen they can get a notification right here Instagram snap pops up and they're gonna be taken away so you want to make sure you have a call to action so that right away they can click and go to the product page if they you know if they want to know more about the product or if they're ready to buy those are the things we kept in mind when setting up our stores um, obviously there's a little bit more that went in, that went into it but I want to give you guys a, an analysis or a brief breakdown of all the things that we did so that's what we did for 
for setting up our store and then what we focused on really is really giving our store more of a brand feel to it right and one of the ways you can do that is by you know customizing all the products right giving them their own unique names and descriptions uh, we make sure we name all of our products with unique names not just generic names we try to customize the names so that they're similar to the store's name so we do that and of course we take the time to do customized product descriptions because of course product descriptions are huge that's where you can kind of uh, sell the people even more on the product really talking about the features and the benefits of it So that's one thing we really focus on to make sure that it differentiates you know for pretty much any other store So if you aren't doing that make sure you take the time to do that But you know after doing that we also make sure we take the time to price our products correctly One thing I see a lot of people doing is not pricing their products correctly again when I was doing this live store reviews for some of the p2p dropshipping accelerator students some of them, a mistake that they did, and it's an easy mistake, we used to do the same thing as well, is they make, they put all their products on sale. And that's a huge mistake again, because then when people see that you're putting all your products on sale, when you have a real sale going on, they're not gonna jump on it or really take advantage of it because they know that you always have all your products on sale anyway. So that's just one reason, but that's what we do as far as like getting the store in place and kind of getting that set up. We transition into deciding what kind of offers we want to run with the products. Of course, that's determined by a couple things like how much the product is and you know if you can actually do either a retail offer on it or if you can if it's better to do a free plus shipping. For this specific product, we did a free plus shipping on it um, on the product and I would say we've had a good amount of success with free plus shipping, but we do both. We do free plus shipping and we do retail offers. So you always want to test both of those out. But uh, we're also, you know, we set up a free plus shipping offer, but we're also getting in place, like I mentioned before to you guys, the, the whole buy one, but also get this item free with this product or, you know, buy this product, but get this product free along with it type of offer, right? Where somebody comes in, they'll see the original product, but they're also going to get something completely free, you know, simply for buying the product. And we went over, I went over in one of my previous videos, like how you can work that in and you know, detail how you can do that without losing too much money or losing any money. But we're, we're going to be focusing on doing some of those offers as well. So I'll keep you guys updated to see how those do. But right now we're running a free plus shipping offer on the product. So again, we started this um, product with $5 a day budgets. Uh, I spoke about this before. My, we have our business set up where my business partner, Samir, takes care of, you know, setting up the Facebook ads. We're able to do this pretty quickly. Uh, he takes care of that. We're running literally $5 a day budgets. And I'm not sure if he has scaled too much since we launched, but I know it's you know, we haven't done too much to it because it's pretty much been on autopilot. We have to, we have our team that helps us with a lot of our things of our, that go on with our store. So uh, we had that in place, but $5 a day budgets, that's what we got started with. And the only reason we started off with Facebook ads and not influencers, how I usually recommend for some of you guys to do is because we had an audience built from one of our previous stores uh, for the product that we were selling. So it was pretty easy just to get that audience and use that same audience um, that look like audience and custom audience that we already had built for that store and use it for the exact same products. So because of that, but if not, even so, you can still start off with $5 a day budgets and you know find do your targeting and all that great stuff and launch those campaigns. But we are also gonna be doing influencer marketing, of course. We've already narrowed down some influencers that we're gonna be working with. We're gonna be reaching out to them soon and I'll hopefully setting up some offers to run with them as well. And that's our strategy that we're gonna be using to scale up. But those are the strategies that we're gonna be using to scale up this store, right? We're gonna start off, of course, scaling our campaigns as long as the numbers hold true and the KPIs and all that great stuff. For those of you guys that don't know what KPIs are, it's just key performance indicators. As long as those, you know, we keep getting uh, low cost for purchase and low link clicks, we'll keep scaling the campaigns. And of course, as long as we can get a decent returns from our, or positive returns, of course, because we're not trying to lose money here, positive returns from our influencer shout outs, we'll keep running those as well. But what I'm also gonna be doing is, after we get those in place, or the influencer shout outs in place, I'm gonna also be you know, setting up our email sequences and upsells, because so far we have none of them in place. So of course, I spoke about it before, it's really important to, you know, obviously be making money on the back end, so that's how we do it, but, that's pretty much the entire game plan that we have set up for this store. You know, th those are the exact things that we did to take a store from zero to $100 a day and how we plan on taking the same store to, you know, whatever, $1,000 a day, $10,000 a day and scaling it to obviously six figures and more uh, a day or maybe even a month. And that's how we plan on scaling the store to, you know, six and seven figures. So um, that's pretty much the game plan right there. There's not too, too much 
that we're doing to it right now because obviously there's you want you know we want to take the time as you're scaling up but again i'll keep you guys updated to see how it goes but yeah if you guys got value from this video if you picked up a thing or two that you want to that you're going to be implementing into your e-commerce business make sure you drop a like on this video and of course if you have any questions about you know the strategy that we use to go from taking the store from zero to a hundred dollars a day drop them in the comments below with any questions that you might have as well and if you guys haven't already make sure you join the vfam smash that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video peace